Good morning all. Am I audible? Please mention whether the audio video is clear. Good morning all. Am I So welcome all, invite all your friends, share the link to maximum people, let more people join. So this is the last lecture in our course, GATE 2023, General Aptitude Free YouTube Live Complete Course. Even if it is mentioned GATE 2023, definitely it is useful for GATE 2024. Targeting this exam, we started this course, but this content is for all GATE exams, all upcoming GATE exam because GATE exam normally the syllabus does not change like in few years they don't change last 15 years almost the syllabus is more or less the same only they have in, in, they have added few topics like increase the importance of few topics like spatial aptitude that also was done three years back after, after that increase or after that update they haven't made any change in the syllabus at all for the last three years so hopefully next year also the syllabus will be same and this course will be useful for any of your friends or any of you who have just started your preparation now and is targeting mainly 2024 exam save this playlist and uh, share it to maximum friends uh, maximum of your friends and as i tell every day this is a common course for all engineering streams and all pure science streams the major engineering streams like in electrical engineering, electronic and communication engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science or chemical engineering or any of these engineering. I am not naming all. All these engineering streams are the same uh, aptitude section for general aptitude and pure science students you already know because I teach in pure science CSCR net category also. So you already know your streams also that is chemistry, biotechnology, physics, statistics, life science, mathematics, all these streams have the same aptitude paper for GATE exam. So this is a common course for all these streams, all 29 subjects will get same question paper for aptitude. The exam is conducted in four dates like 2023 if you tell today, tomorrow, next Saturday, next Sunday, these are the four dates in which the exam is conducted. Morning and afternoon there are eight time slots. So, 8 time slots, 8 question paper for aptitude to make sure that the question paper is not out before all the exams are over. They prepare 8 question paper. So, yes, same 8 question paper, yes, 29 streams ke liye, same 8 question papers hoga. Which time slot you are writing the exam? For example, mathematical science and, sorry, mathematics and life science share the same question paper this time because they are in the same time slot. Similarly, each engineering streams also. So, that is why please understand your course Sara streams ke liye common hai. Any gate aspirants you know who want to prepare general aptitude for free, whether it is verbal or non-verbal ability, share this playlist to them. The link of the playlist I will tag in the chat and comments so that you can share it to maximum people. Okay, so verbal aptitude is the is what we are discussing now and this is a last lecture in verbal aptitude. Just a summary of what we have discussed in verbal aptitude already. Homophones as a separate lecture we have discussed. Idioms as a separate lecture we have discussed. Synonyms and antonyms as a separate lecture we have discussed. And vocabulary miscellaneous questions we are discussing today. Like checking your word power directly questions are also asked. Then uh, comprehension we have discussed in two lectures, grammar we have discussed in three lectures. So all these 10 videos are available in the playlist that is available in the description of this video and I will pin it in the comments also so that you can easily uh, access it if you missed any of the previous sessions. So let us start. So vocabulary miscellaneous question, vocabulary means they can ask anything like any word whether you know the meaning of the word they can ask. Synonym, antonym, at least you can guess options like ye opposite hai, ye opposite nahi hai, ya ye similar hai, ye similar nahi hai, aisa guess kar sakta hai. But here vocabulary question, direct questions, they will ask the meaning of a word directly or they will ask what is similar or not only synonym, antonym, otherwise also they can give. Can you fill in the blank using like understanding the context you have to you have to supply the word in the blank. That way also question comes. So that kind of question we are discussing today. So for that only thing is you should improve your word power. 
that you cannot improve it in one day or two days. So we have to do smartly. How you can smartly do that? To smartly do it, the best way is you can think about prefixes and suffixes. Many question, the prefixes and suffixes help us to understand options or sometimes eliminate options easily. What is prefixes and suffixes? Let us discuss prefixes. Again, theory is too much. So I will just summarize the theory and uh, sub prefixes I will explain in detail. Suffixes I will add it in the slides. You can read it just the same way you can understand suffixes also. Okay, what is a prefix? So, fixing a group of letters to a word to change its meaning, number, state or form is called a system of affixation. Affixation of, are of two types, prefixing and aff, uh, suffixing. Pre means before, S suffix means after. So, prefixing that itself is a prefix, prefixing. That pre is actually a prefix for the word fixing which is a root word or fix is the root word, ing is the suffix we did prefixing so fix is the root word pre is the uh, prefix and ing is the suffix are you getting the point all of you so determined if it is a base word predetermined is a word you can newly form now predetermined that means ed is the suffix are you understanding suffix and sorry determine ed will be the suffix and pre will be the prefix. So, that is affixation. Play, player. So, er is the suffix. Weekly, bi-weekly. Bi is the suffix. That means in two weeks. Follow, following. Ing is also a suffix itself. Are you all understanding prefix and suffix? Let us discuss about prefix in detail. So, prefixing and suffixing are the two type of affixation. A prefix is a small group of letters which are affixed at the beginning of the word. Like, Subsidiary, sidery, sub you are adding. Non violence, violence if you know the meaning. Non means negative or opposite of violence. So, non is the prefix used there. Intolerance, tolerance, opposite will be intolerance. So, in is the prefix and that is used to make it antonym or opposite in meaning. So, let us understand the different uh, functions of prefixes. I have prepared some notes for you, listen very carefully. First function of prefixes, it indicates presence or absence. In antonym synonym discussion also we have seen this in some questions. And in the analogy session, Jesse sir was taking the analogy session. There also you have seen some examples. Popular, impopular, do you remember? So there, so um, immoral, so moral without moral is immoral. Injected, injected means put into. So here, there, in is actually the prefix. Congenital, present from birth. That means, C-O-N is actually a prefix. So, genital, congenital. Are you understanding? So, many words, we may not realize that it is prefix. So, can you tell me some words in the chat and those who are watching this recording? In comments, can you tell me some words which have a prefix? Which you realize, once you understood now, what is prefix and suffix? So, Con means present. So, present from birth. Genital means related to birth. So, injected, put into. Immoral. So, A is denoting without or not having morals. So, can you comment all of you? Some words which have prefix or maybe suffix also. All of you. Meanwhile, I will go to the next function of prefix. Another function of prefix is indicate positions. Indicate, indicate positions. Hypodermic, for example. Dermic means dermatologist. Dermatizes. So, derma means skin related. Again, that root word may be from another language. Last class, I already told you. English have taken words from any language. Ingenious. Very good, Omkar. Dishonest. Very good, Deepansh, Deepanshi. This is prefix. In is prefix. Pretest. Pre is prefix. Very good. Very good. Wonderful. So, hypodermic. Hypo, hypo means under. Hyper means over. Do you remember? Yeah, you can. Uh, um, you have heard this word many times. Nah? Hypertension. Hypertension. Hyper means more. Or he is hyper. Hyper means he is more than what he should be. Or hyper in very many contexts we say. So, hyper means more. Hypo means less. Or less means under, under, according to the context. 
So here, under and over is hyper and hypo. So that is also a prefix. So if you are knowing prefixes, that will help a lot to understand the meaning. Na? Derma, you know, if it is skin. And hypodermic means under the skin. Hyperdermic means over the skin. Are you getting the point? This is one way to simplify sorry, vocabulary or understand or increase your vocabulary. Because you can create new words, not new words. They are already in English. But you can create that easily by knowing the root word, prefix, suffix. So, circumnavigate. Circums, again, those who are of science background. Circumcender. Circumference. They are all prefixes. Ference. Circumference. Are you getting the point? Circumscribe. Circumscribe opposite inscribe. Circumscribe is outside. In my geometry class, I have shown you questions where circumscribing. A circle is circumscribing a triangle. Circle is circumscribing a square. That means through outside. If it is inscribing, that is inside. In is prefix. Circum is prefix. Are you understanding? English language is not that difficult if you understand prefix and suffix well. It is very important. So, circum means, so navigate navigator or uh, uh, navy navy is all connected to connected with water or sea so that na navy g a t e is a again a suffix circum is a prefix are you getting that is how these words are okay all of you are realizing this right you are familiar with prefix and suffix now or is it something new to you please tell me in the comments and chat so that i can speed up or slow down this discussion is it something new that you are learning or you may have already heard it in school days but you are realizing it little more clearly now please mention whatever it is in the chat so accordingly i can speed up or reduce the speed so ante chamber ch a chamber before another so that is ante is actually used for that interstellar stellar stellar means connected to star so inter means between stars so the interstellar movie also now makes more sense now the title of the movie getting the point very good omkar so inter and intra inter school college inter school competition intra school competition inter school we normally say that means between schools that is inter intra means inside itself inter intra so okay preeti thank you for the feedback so, I hope all of you are understanding. So, indicating position also we can use prefixes. Now, indicate quality, size or number also we can use um, prefixes. So, I will go a little faster so that we can practice more questions. Thermometer. Meter, you know. So, thermometer means thermo is denoted, denoting uh, um, heat. Na? What, are, what all thermo words you know? Think about it. Thermometer. Other other than thermometer, uh, thermo flask, thermo flask, what other thermo, thermo coal. Again, many words with thermo you know, right? So, thermo is also a prefix. Are you getting? So, heat measuring instrument, meter is measure instrument, right? So, heat related, that is why heat measuring instrument. Macrocosm, macro, micro, macro is big, micro is small. So, macro when you connected to that is a big world cosm cosmic all are connected word connected to world so the root word is cosm or cosmic so to that you are connecting the prefix ma macro you can prefix micro also yeah thermoregulation very good anisha polyglot yeah polyglot you have heard about the word polyglot now someone who know many languages so poly means many Polygamy and monogamy. Polygamy means a, a system where more than one marriage is allowed. Po monogamy means a system where only one marriage. Mono means one. Same way poly. Many words of poly you know. Na? Polythene. Poly, polyester. Or poly. Yeah. Which all words you know with poly. Comment it all of you. Yeah. Think that this is you are learning more by commenting you are actually remembering okay what all words i know with poly 
that will actually improve your vocabulary and you will be able, able to use those words more in your language and that will always help you. Polygon, very good, Shikha. Polygon, in our geometry class, we got about polygon, na? poly. There, poly is prefixing gun. Side, gun means side. Poly means many side, many sided shape. So, polyglot, that is also clear. Then, indicating time, frequency or order also, we can denote prefix. Post dated, date you know, post dated means after. Predated, post dated, post dated check, predated check. Many post and pre word you uh, post partum depression. You have heard about post partum depression, right? Or whatever post we know. Postpone prepon. Yeah, actually in British English, both these words, uh, this um, prepon is not there actually. But in, in Indian English, we use this word prepon. But uh, uh, very good. Polytechnic, wonderful. Polymerous, very good. Polycotton polynomial, polythene, wonderful, wonderful, postpone, yes, very good, thank you all of you for responding and those of you are in the comments also do comment, those who are watching this recording, uh, try to get more interactive when you are hearing, hearing what I am telling, try to respond to that and uh, tell your comments, when you are hearing it, you can mention it like a live chat itself, you can comment on the video, okay, so this much is clear now. So, redo, re means again, replay or reminder. Are you getting many words, na? many words. This is how words are created in English. Not only in English, in our languages also are there, but prefixes, suffixes are more, more in English. Because English, in my opinion, it is not that big a language. It is a language that is made up. And the usage, many more people are using. That is why the language is getting bigger and bigger and bigger daily. Yeah, that is how language improves. Na? If a language is not used by more people, more words will not be created. English is used by more people. That is why the language gets improved all the time. And it is used in many cultures. So, that cultural words also get added to the uh, language. That is how it gets improved. When English language started, the number of words were very less. It just got improved, improved or increased. By taking more loan words, making more cultural words, making uh, making more technological words also. That is also there. Like computer related words. New new words every day it happens. Na? New new words are created every day. Because new new technologies need new new words. Us computers or technology in US it is more. Or technology development is more. The words also will be in English. That is also one reason for new words getting added. So, recall, reject, regain, review, revision, remove, revert, regular. Regular, I am not sure whether it is prefixing. Maybe it is correct. That I have to check. But all other examples, very good. Relearn, remember, restrain. Very good. Very good. Wonderful. Primary. Primary. Again, primary we can suffix or even pri also we can suffix. Pri, binary, terinary. That way, that is by, try, etc. are prefixes. Then, so I hope this much is clear. Then types of prefixes. To give you a list of prefixes. Un, in, this, ir, ill, im, non, miss, miss, mal, anti, d, a, dis, dice. All these are types, some uh, negative prefixes. That denotes negative like misinformation, misogynist, misanthrope, then non, non-violent, non-challent, violent opposite, non-violent, challenge opposite, non-challent, Ir, irregular, irresponsive, responsive opposite, irresponsive, irresponsible. Are you getting? That means generally we can say this is to denote antonyms, but not in all cases, but most of the cases negative means antonyms itself. So, that is negative prefixes. Then prefixes of size, semi, semi-circle, semi-conductor, semi-active, equi, equidistant, equilateral, equivalent, equiangular. Are you getting? Then macro, micro, I already told, microscope, macroscope, yes, some alignment issues there. Mini, mini means small, mini iPod, mini iPhone or mini, uh, mini theater, 
mini what are what all mini words you know that also you can comment minimum mini computer miniature mega megapolis megapixel mega star are you getting so prefixes of size that they are so prefixes of size or this is not size this is position actually inter super trans x in sub sir circum peri per again go through this that will improve your vocabulary i will share the pdf in the telegram channel the telegram channel link is there in the description of this video so prefixes of time and sequence pre prime post retro pro re for after cron some examples they are prevent went prevent pre pair prepare predict premonition prelude are you getting all these are prefixes many words we think that which is not prefixed or suffixed actually are prefixed or suffixed or affixed words prefixes of numbers and amount monotheism monologue mono uni bi tri quad tetra penta quint hexa hexagon hexadecimal pentagon are you getting the point so that prefixes of number or amount also kilogram kilo means 1000 so 1000 gram kilometer 1000 meter etc so i hope you got an overall idea about prefixes just like this suffixes are also many types due to lack of time i'm not explaining that now but in the study material i will add that also so that you get more info so so now try this all question i am not saying that you can identify prefix and suffix but many question it will be helpful so some question the problem is prefix or suffix you will identify but the root word you don't know but at least that prefix and suffix may tell something about which option is can be eliminated at least is that clear so all of you try this it will give you time one and a half minutes all of you try Okay, I will explain some of you got option C. Let's see whether it is correct. His uh, hunger for reading is insatiable. He reads indiscriminately. That means he reads a lot without considering what genre it is or what type of book it is. He wants to read more and more. He is most certainly a dash reader. Is it all round, precocious, voracious and wise or wise? I will explain all round, all prefix you can consider round. That means everywhere or everything more than all round. The correct answer, let's go for it. Uh, let us read more precocious pre is a prefix. But again, cautious, if you don't know, we cannot uh, understand the meaning exactly. But precocious means something that is developed in a very early stage early. That is why pre is there very early straight. 
So that early part is not what we need because the question is trying to say is he reads everything. He wants to read more and more. That is like like uh, like uh, an un unending hunger for reading more. That is what the question or the passage is trying to say. So it is not precocious also. Wise means yeah, wise man. That means having knowledge or do something with good judgment. That is wise now. That is not wise reader is not the idea that we need to convey. So voracious is the correct meaning. Voracious means having a great enthusiasm or great eagerness to eagerness to do something. So in the case of here, in this case, it is reading great enthusiasm or great interest to read more and more. So that is the meaning of voracious. Again, the challenge in this question is if you don't know exactly the meaning of voracious, it is difficult. Prefixing, suffixing can be used, for example, precocious, but pre means before, but what is cautious? That is a problem or C-O-C, -C, that root word without knowing the meaning, it is difficult to guess. So, I am addressing the challenge. I am not saying that there is a solution. Sometimes the solution is skipping the question also because not getting a negative mark is also important. As I told in the last two, three class, I am not trying to make you all uh, like uh, super good in English. I am trying to make you practically do gate general aptitude verbal ability better by knowing which is a challenging question, which is an easy question. That is also important, right? So, uh, all of you clear? This much is clear how voracious is the answer. Let's see more and more questions. So, try this. Another question in grade 2020. Okay, Omkar. Very true, Omkar. That is why the reading, if you have reading habit, definitely this chapter. Uh, Yeah, if you have reading habit, definitely it will be helpful. Okay, some of you got an answer. Let's see. So here, select the most appropriate word that can replace the underlined word without changing the meaning of the sentence. Nowadays, most children have a tendency to be little. Be is a prefix. Little you know, na? very small. Be little means the action of considering something not important or very less important they are considering. That means be little means they are not considering the importance of that. What importance of what? The legitimate concerns of their parents. Legitimate concerns means that means valid concerns of their parents. Maybe the parents are uh, worried about uh, the students not studying well or not focusing on their study. But the students or the children are not ready to understand that concerns. Students are thinking that that is uh, they are unnecessarily having that concern. So I'm just telling an example. So that is what belittle means to consider something not uh, not worthy or not important. So disparage also means the same to consider something not worthy or not important. Upload means. I upload his performance. That means I congratulate. I uh, think that is very good. 
that is not the meaning of belittle now that is almost like opposite reduce also reduce is not exact same meaning reduce is also a negative word in this context like reduce the size or reduce something but that is not belittle begrudge means showing grudge to someone or showing um, uh, envy to someone that is begrudge that is not what is needed here tendency to belittle the concern so that is why disparage is the correct word or similar in word meaning so option a is the correct answer i hope all of you understood so try this question yeah here the context is also important please try this question carefully and answer Okay, let me see. Very good, very good, Preeti. Elimination you have done for the previous question now. So, I will explain all of you listen. B and D option, most of you got it. So, despite the string of poor performance, the chances of KL Rahul selection in the team are dash. Okay, so this for cricket fans this is a more relatable question i guess the word despite is very important here from that only we can understand the meaning yeah vocabulary some question according to context you can easily answer i think with this context if you are understanding it is very simple despite a string of poor performance even if kl rahul have done a co consistently poor performance his selection in the team are even if when we will say even if matlab uska performance kharab tha fir bhi fir bhi you can connect it to the word fir bhi in hindi fir bhi uska chances yada hai that is what we are trying to that that is what the sentence is trying to say how we understand that from the keyword despite 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 means even if or fir bhi uska chances hai matlab slim means very less slim person or slim uh, slim very slim means very less so yeah in hindi patla right so slim nahi hoga slim means very less that is no obvious means obvious does not does not make sense na? obvious means very simple or very clear that means the obvious choice we say na? that is not actually context may match nahi kar raha hai. uncertain certain prefixed with un so uncertain that is not the what the context says fir bhi uska chances usko uska selection ka chances yada hai that is what we want to say so it is not uncertain certain hai to sahi hai or okay hai so bright is correct bright future bright chance that means more chances there so with the context we need to understand the meaning that way that question was easy na that is what i am trying to say context but clear ho raha to, definitely some questions can be easily done in this question that was the best thing to do so bright is the correct answer sabko clear hai na please respond because of yeah if the word was because of uh, then preeti the answer will be uh, 
uncertain will be better but because of using in the beginning there is some grammatical or syntactical uh, errors or it is not perfect to use that way but uh, uh, if the because of word was there the answer would would not be bright uh, preeti was asking in spite of despite of despite because of a string of poor performance then the chances will be that means the reason for why kl rahul is not selected then that will be the context in that case if the word despite is uh, replaced by because of good question preeti i hope it is clear this is <laughs> okay amkar yeah kl rahul fans uh, will actually <laughs> dislike the video so i am not commenting on it so maybe yeah gate asked i didn't ask kl rahul fans if if uh, they are here uh, don't get offended gate uh, made this question that is iit made this question <laughs> So, so you can take offense on uh, iit not on uh, not on me no just uh, yeah every every batsman or every player have a good time or bad time na that is all normal maybe after one year yeah now kl rahul yeah i am not following cricket that much in one day or two t20 in one of the formats he is performing well na which format it is yeah anyone know anyone who is uh, following cricket much can mention it IPL he is performing more na or yeah IPL he is performing and one day or 320 or test in which format he performs better now you can comment on it okay so anyway <laughs> yeah sometimes uh, IIT is does this they give questions that will make us think or that will make us relate more definitely a cricket fan or um, a person who follows uh, Indian cricket team and uh, IPL may be able to relate this question very well so try this question gate 2019 problem yeah due to yes omkar very good very good yeah he was performing well now nah? now it is not good okay but they made the question in 2020 i don't know at that time whether he was performing well or not or they made a random example Okay, some of you already got an answer, wonderful. Some of you got the correct answer also, wonderful. Okay. John Thomas and Dash writer passed away in 2018. Here actually option elimination is very important. Here prominent and eminent are synonyms itself. Prominent and eminent. Eminent means famous in a particular field. Prominent also uh, like a main person in a particular field. Almost similar meaning only. Almost similar meaning only. Dominant again. Dominant writer. Dominant means dominate something. Dominate. That is like uh, no one else is superior to that and he is dominating. That, that way it will sound. That is not what we want. Imminent also does not make sense in this case. So, prominent and eminent is similar words. But here the word, article and last grammar class we have discussed kiya tha. A and the ka use. Or you already know it. I don't have to teach you. And is used with vowel sounds. Na? And A is used with consonant sounds. So, and means the sound will should be 
और द बिगिनिंग शुड बी स्टार्टिंग विथ वॉवल साउंड ए इज वॉवल साउंड पा और प्रो पा द साउंड यू आर मेकिंग इज पा राइट दैट मीन दैट इज अ कॉन्सनेंट साउंड सो इट इट इज डेफिनेटली एमिनेंट Yeah, why I am emphasizing on sound rather than letter? Because letters there can be exceptions. In school days, for convenience, it was told to look at the first letters. That is okay, but exceptions are there, as you have learned in school days itself. University, even if U is a vowel letter, the sound is Y. Yeah. That is a vowel sound. That is why A University we will sorry. That is a consonant sound. Even if vowel letter U. If you can, you cannot say an university. You have to say a university. So to clear that confusion, I am telling vowel sound है तो an use करना है. Consonant sound है sound है तो a use करना है. So anyway, here as an you have to use vowel sound. Eminent prominent में eminent is the vowel sound. So option C is the answer. All of you clear? Please respond. Any doubts you can ask. If so, we will go to the next question. Uh, imminent means uh, something that is about to happen, Omkar. Imminent means about to happen. So that is not making any sense in this context, na? About to happen. An MBBS, yes, uh, Anisha. Even if M is consonant, when we say M sound, A uh is what you are using. That is why an MBBS we will say. Okay. So try the next question, please, all of you. option b option someone many of you some of you got let's see the minister avoided any mention of the issue of women's reservation in the private sector so avoided something this keyword is important then only you will understand the context he was accused of dash the issue it is skirting the issue because skirting means attempting to avoid something He's trying to avoid something that is the meaning of skirting again without knowing that meaning uh, this can be challenging i agree otherwise at least other three words meaning you should be clear about collaring means ceasing something or stopping someone police collared the thief so and tying you know tying something tying a rope belting again similar meaning we can say but that will not be connected with avoiding something or trying to avoid something that is why skirting is the correct answer or the best option is that clear exactly ignoring or avoiding a topic very true preeti hope all of you understood this please respond is that clear then try this question
some of you got the answer already very good so final examination is the dash of a series of evaluation that a student has to go through dash of a when you read that sentence one or two times you will understand that end of something end of everything uh, that happened so that is desperation insinuation consultation that doesn't make sense now because end of something culmination is the correct answer desperation means desperate desperate to do something consultation means consulting someone or consulting a doctor or consulting a uh, technician insinuation means action of suggesting without being direct that is that is insinuation that also does not make sense here now final examination the final word is the keyword to connect it again prefixes suffixes are coming in most of these words i'm not mentioning for each question but prefixes suffixes are there des in con so are you all understanding so that is why culmination is the correct thing culmination of the uh, virus spread yeah when uh, this um, um, pandemic was spreading also the word culmination we have seen many many a times are you all understanding this please respond if so let's go to the next question try this again here also you have to look at the context rather than the meaning context say easily mil sakta hai answer कौन सा मीनिंग शिखा कौन सा क्वेश्चन का कौन सा ऑप्शन का पूछ रहा है आप ये क्वेश्चन का देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन डोंट वरी Culmination shikha means uh, point at which an event or series of event ends. That means end of something. That means many as many series of things happened and after that the final thing happened. Na? That is called culmination. Okay, some of you got B option, some of you got D option. Let's see whether it, which is correct. When he did not come home, she dashed him lying dead on the roadside somewhere. Again, you have to understand the context. So, maybe a, a, a girl or a wife or a dear one, she was uh, expecting someone to come, but he didn't come home. At that time, she was imagining, okay, maybe something bad happened to him. Are you getting the point? So, that is what the sentence is trying to say. Something bad means he thought he is lying dead on roadside, maybe a dream or maybe a, just a random thought. Are you getting? So, he did not come home. So, she dashed him lying dead. Is it concluded? Can she conclude that? No, that is just a thought that come. That means she, she don't have any evidence for that. But just because he, he came, he didn't come early. She was just maybe overthinking. Sometimes that happens now because we overthink. We just think everything or total impossible things also or totally uh, not needed things also we think now. Likewise, this person also was thinking. So she is not concluding it. She is not looking. Looking is something that we can see in our bare eyes right looking at something so she is not looking at him because he is somewhere else she don't know where she is so she is just imagining or in her head only she is seeing for that we cannot use the word looked looked means looked with the eyes notice notice also is something like we are noticing something that is happening in front of us it is not something that we can imagine are you getting the point 
that is why context wise notice is also wrong pictured yes pictured means imagined picture you are making in your head now when we read read a general aptitude question i'll say picture the situation in your mind picture so that pictured is making more sense now read the sentence once again with that option when he did not come home she pictured him lying dead on the roadside somewhere yes that is making sense now she pictured him she is imagining that he is lying dead somewhere so would imagine here would have imagined him grammatically context may more correct is pictured because imagine means imagine is like a many things together we imagine now this is about a particular thing imagined is not grammatically wrong but usage more correct will be or more correct with respect to context will be pictured even if imagine were there but imagine is not there to avoid confusion clear i guess preeti now clear context exactly exactly arju so notice can easily be eliminated since the sentence is the yeah uh, no notice is present only ah uh, yeah yeah the sentence is uh, all, also in the past na true true very good very good grammatically notice is wrong what she told is correct what anisha told is correct this is in past na did not so that means this should also be in past picture is in past this suffix we can check so the suffix is also wrong because this is simple tense that way also notice can be eliminated good point all of you understood so then let's see one more question try this okay i'm not sure if the bus that has been booked will be able to dash all the students sit all the students no sit means like sit somewhere it is actually the meaning what we need to convey is to give space to give space that is an action we are doing sitting is like we can sit somewhere but bus that has been booked the bus is giving space na that is to give space the best option is accommodate na accommodation or accommodate means to give space or to give a uh, place to stay that makes sense when you read that sentence also i am not sure if the bus that has been booked will be able to accommodate all the students sara students ke liye ye jagah kafi hoga ya nahi hame pata nahi hai that is why we are say saying this sentence in that context i hope it is very clear that accommodate will be the best option a uh, deteriorate means get uh, the get worse like health is deteriorating after uh, the pandemic started or health is deteriorating as i am not able to work out there the word deteriorate or deteriorate can be used in many contexts not only health case fill means filling something that is not used for filling students na even if the irony is that some school or some school bus fill students filling we we can say only for non like we are not thinking they are humans we are just filling it like filling matchsticks in a matchbox we are filling 
so that is a sad thing right that student yeah now i am not generalizing but many schools or many uh, school buses does not consider they are students and they just fill more more students but they should be accommodated they should not be filled are you all understanding okay in this context anyway accommodate is the best option so that is how that can be done okay i think vocabulary this uh, we can uh, finish it here but more questions i will give for practice so please try them so i hope uh, let's conclude here we are about to uh, about to uh, finish this course here yeah your feedbacks now in the live chat also will be helpful and all of you those who are watching this recording if you can mention your comments now about how was this course that will be very uh, encouraging for me and uh, other educators to give more quality content content if whether it was a quality content or not that you should mention then only i will be able to know so the summary i will just summarize here you can also mention uh, whatever you felt about this course in the comments or in the live chat so first 40 lectures we discuss quantitative aptitude analytical aptitude aptitude and spatial aptitude that is a non verbal ability topics 40 lectures and they are the topics that is for other exams also it is important like CSA and net exam, set exam, etc. Quantitative aptitude, analytical and spatial aptitude is there. That is the first 40 lectures in the playlist. The playlist link is tagged in the chat. Clicking on that you can see all the previous sessions if you have missed any of them. Then the last 10 lectures verbal aptitude. Again verbal aptitude I am re reiterating. According to the importance of verbal aptitude in gate exam that way we have given the gate aptitude content sorry verbal aptitude content and in the study materials of the pending uh, study materials that we have in posted I will add some more content so that you can read more and learn more yourself also. But practically how to approach verbal ability questions or how to skip a question if it is not doable. I hope you got an overall idea. Now practice more especially verbal ability. My suggestion is comprehension definitely focus more. Practice few more passages if possible before your exam and get more confidence in the skill. That is a skill you can develop. Vocabulary and grammar skills are needed but more than skills your word power is also important in vocabulary and your english grammar proficiency is important in grammar so that way those two areas there are some limitations we have comprehension the limitation is only that sometimes the question gets very tough only in that case it is challenging otherwise if you develop the develop the skills of comprehending things that is a skill that is not only needed for exam that is a skill that you need all throughout your life now or after clearing gate or any other exams your skill of comprehension is very important in your daily life in your career in your research so definitely that is something that we cannot avoid so improving your skill of comprehension is very good reading a newspaper article reading a uh, reading a message from your friend or a colleague you should be able to comprehend it well. So that is a skill uh, or a life skill that you need. All these are life skills because improving your vocabulary will definitely help you to communicate better. Improving your grammar is definitely good if you are planning to speak in English in your career or in your job or teaching if the medium is English definitely improving your grammar, improving your vocabulary, improving your comprehension skills all will be very important so that way also these things are important and exam sake don't worry too much about verbal aptitude but comprehension i will suggest you to focus more because in less time you can improve that that is why i have already given two sessions in this channel and my other session in other channels also i give a lot of classes in an academy platform or other platform i have given already many sessions you can search the keyword general aptitude with christy Vergus or if verbal ability verbal ability by christy Vergus you can search vedic maths if you want to learn vedic maths by christy Vergus because my keywords are given like that that is why it, it is easy to find that way if you want to check out my classes in other platforms so uh, that is it and non-verbal ability we have discussed in detail quantitative aptitude analytical aptitude and spatial aptitude and a hack I can tell you before your exam 
if possible try to concentrate on spatial aptitude and go because spatial aptitude my um, guess is that this time there will be surely a question from spatial aptitude in most of the question papers so just by revising that you can make sure that you get that question maybe one mark or two mark if it is two mark you can get two mark by just spending maybe half an hour you just revise it before exam the session i have taken for special aptitude already there in the playlist but just see more practice questions or in that itself i have given extra practice questions try them and uh, in the telegram group associated with the channel you can post a doubt if time allows i will respond or at least others will respond and quantitative aptitude logical aptitude definitely if you have time revise it but there are too many topics that it may take some time to i am telling for last minute tips i am telling those who have exam tomorrow or next week for them i am telling if you are planning for gate 2024 definitely you have enough time prepare all these things more in detail so uh, that's it uh, about uh, last minute preparation tips let me go through the chat Omkar, I will try to give revision sessions, but I don't know whether I will get time either in this channel or through an academy channel. Be part of my groups, then you will get update wherever I take class. Not only in this platform, other platform classes also I update because free classes wherever I take, you can freely attend. So I am making sure that through different platforms, you get more free platform, free classes, whether it is through a uh, company's classes or through in other uh, other platforms classes or some youtube channels ask me to collaborate and ask take sessions due to lack of time i'm not able to say yes to many of them but maybe in the near future i will be taking classes through other youtube channels also so that more free classes will be there so uh, all those updates you will get if you are being part of my telegram channel telegram group or whatsapp group or this youtube uh, at least subscribe this channel so that in the community tab of this community post also i update it so and uh, as i always tell support free initiatives whoever is doing it whichever educator is doing it support free initiatives as much as you can then only free initiatives more will happen i i am ana analyzing this online ecosystem uh, online education ecosystem for last few years so what I have understood is online classes or free classes, there are many challenges educators for uh, faces speaking to other people also by that I am telling because sometimes the motivations are less for an educator to give more classes. They are able to teach very well, but they are not getting a platform to uh, teach properly or they are not like they are taking classes but very less people are coming five people are coming ten people are coming and they are not able to sustain it but that is where i'm telling whichever channel you are seeing that a content is very good and that person's classes more people should be able to attend then please share it don't think that okay i am able to attend his or her class i should not share it with anyone so that i will only get that knowledge no he or she will stop taking classes after a point of time because he or she is not getting a motivation in my case i am lucky to be part of big platforms where i am able to get to more crowd and even this platform also even in my channel also more people are attending the session live or recorded that is why i am able to get motivated but other educators i know personally many educators who are actually not able to get a platform many students also shared this concern they want to teach and they are confident that they are teaching well and i am personally able to see that they are teaching very well but they are not able to get a platform or they are not get able to get a push from the students so that they are able to keep motivated even if it is like yeah to be frank youtube many people think that youtube is a platform where uh, everyone earns very well that is not the case please understand that I'm telling about many educators who don't get any pro any plat any profit from YouTube. Still, they are able to continue just their passion for teaching, their um, uh, feel that they want to get to more and more people and they want to help more and more people. So, um, yeah, this some people say, okay, YouTube may, may be paying. YouTube is not paying for paying all educators, including this channel. The payment from YouTube is not the primary motivation or that is very, very, very negligible with respect to the motivation from the students and the self-motivation of an educator to give those classes. So 
support more educators support more free learning this is one thing i want to tell you almost many many almost or almost many of my previous session i told this this is important and uh, another thing those who are having exam today or tomorrow or saturday or sunday all the best now itself do very well be confident and don't panic that is very important in panic you can make more mistakes some level of panic anyway you cannot avoid but don't panic too much <laughs> that is what i'm trying to say because exam means a national level exam definitely that is normal to panic a little but don't panic too much because that will affect or that there is chances that you make mistake out of panic please understand you are yeah those who watch this quota factory um, series um, there this jitu bhaiya is telling a, a sentence don't think that you are very special don't think that your problems are a uh, very special that no one else is uh, uh, feeling the same the problems that you are facing maybe many are facing yeah i'm not generalizing maybe you have problems that is not uh, relatable to anyone else that is true but many problems that is connected to exams and all you are not very special there i mean many of them or many people or most students are going through the same concerns so if you have if you feel like that you will start thinking okay i can also overcome because many people who are facing this problems are able to overcome then why not me that thought may motivate you more take it positively i'm not saying that you are not special you are special in very many ways but with respect to the concerns related to exams or preparation maybe you are facing a problem that thousands or lakhs of people are facing and the smarter people are able to sort out and come out of it and you have to be one among the smarter people so that is what i am saying think that you are not very special with respect to the challenges you are facing with respect to the exam or with respect to the preparation with respect to the less motivation that you are having come out of it again it is not that easy but you have to do that what you can do for that do some action take some action to come out of it whatever whatever situation you are in because everyone will have challenges one thing or the other yeah some challenges are maybe totally different as i told maybe that is very special challenges to you only but many challenges may be challenges that you can easily sort to by speaking to a person who have gone through that challenge and able to come out of it in that way it is very good to uh, listen to motivational speaking of those people who have faced the challenge that you have uh, you are facing now or overcome the challenge that you are facing now so that are some general advices i am not that good at motivating or not that good at giving general advices like this but i am just sharing my uh, experience or my personal experience also when i was also facing some challenges uh, beginning uh, in the beginning i was also feeling like okay why i am feeling this or why i am uh, facing this then i i was looking at people okay there are many people who have gone through similar challenges and who have overcome it so looking at them and taking those good aspects from them yeah that also i always tell don't yeah in my opinion keeping role models is not that important but taking good from everyone is important taking keeping role models the problem is you will you will repeat whatever they does maybe in something or many things they are good but in few things they are not at all not at all advisable to uh, imitate them so instead of keeping role models take the good aspects from everyone because everyone will have something or the other that is good so even coping up with challenges also those people who have overcome the challenge take that aspect of them that made them overcome it not everything because that will be like in in some cases that can be toxic keeping role models in some cases not all cases there are many many people which we can follow maybe 90% 95% but 100% i don't think there is anyone who we can follow 100% everything he he does is perfect there won't be such a person na? my opinion you can tell your opinion about the same you may have role models that is okay but what i'm saying is role model does not mean that you have to copy everything that he or she does the good thing that he or she does you can follow that is why i also some people say uh, maybe maybe just to butter they say sir i uh, i want to be like you or i want to do 
the same way you are doing. I will say don't do that. I am just doing some things correctly. Some things I am doing wrongly. So don't keep wrong. Yeah, I am no one to be a role model of that I, I know. What I am saying is take good from everyone and don't take bad from anyone. So anyone who you think that is very good, there will be something or the other you should not imitate from him or her or you should not follow from him or her. So avoid that. Take good from everyone. Everyone is a teacher. That is what I think. That is why I try to res respect anyone who is attending my session. I don't think they are my students. I think they are also teachers. I can also learn something or the other from them. Yeah, when you are commenting, that is my <laughs> selfish motive, we can say. I say sometimes, comment, comment the prefixes you know. So that when you comment it, I will also improve my vocabulary, right? I will also think maybe that word I know, but when you commented it, I think about that word and I can use it next time easily. So you are also being teachers or that is the interaction I think is very important in education. It should not be like monotonous. It should not be one way. It should be two way. So in class also that should be that. In most of my classes, I try to do that. But online classes, some challenges are still there. I agree. But in a classroom coaching, maybe we can implement that more. But online classes have its own advantage that uh, you are able to attend from anywhere in India. And that is a beautiful thing that in this class, there are people from all over India. Yeah, if you want, you can mention in the chat from where in India you are so that we can understand how diversified is this class. Or if you don't want to reveal that also is fine. I'm just telling. But we all know, we all know that as a group from all over India, we are able to attend an online session. That way online sessions are wonderful in my opinion. Many people are able to access education freely, which was not possible earlier. Otherwise, they have to go to a different state or different city or far away from their home to get that education. So that way online education yeah i was telling just some general things as it is a last session so once again big thanks to all of you for being part of this initiative and spread this initiative more if you felt this session was good if this course was good definitely shortcomings would have been there that all uh as 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 much as i can i tried because as i told there were many things in between that happened and in between i was not able to manage my schedule and uh, like daily six hours seven hours class after that how i will take this class i was not at all able to uh, able to sort out but you people actually kept me motivated to continue this course so anyway thank you so much for all of you thank you so much for the support thank you so much all of you and uh, yeah each of you in the chat uh, whoever commented Priyanka, Deepanshi, Omkar, Arju, Gunjan, Preeti, Anisha, Scienceology. So, yeah, from Rajasthan, West Bengal, from different parts of India, people are able to attend. Wonderful, wonderful. So, anyway, once again, thank you all of you. All the best for GATE exam and other exams. Maybe you are preparing for other exams also. All the best for all the exams and GATE exam. By this course, as much as possible, I try to deliver. We'll try to give more, uh, more quality content in the future also. So, stay tuned. Hope this channel reach to more and more people. Yeah, definitely I have, I have uh, the wish for this channel to be growing more and more giving education or giving uh, content to students or helping more content to students that is one thing second thing is definitely i want this my initiatives to reach to more and more people and that will make me happy we are all humans now we also we also have ambitions and, and i do have ambition that this channel should reach to more and more people so try to do that if you felt this content is uh, good try to spread the word Try to tell people that there are there is a channel like this where this video is good. If it was useful for you. In the future, I am planning to start some Vedic math initiatives. Speed matrix or full length course for Vedic maths we are planning to start. So let us know or let me know whether you will be interested in that. To learn Vedic maths from me free of cost through this channel. Like, 
like this gate course maybe full length course itself we will plan or short video series we will plan short video series we already started two three session me and jesse have started a series vedic maths versus school math in this channel you can see the playlist of that or if possible i'll share the playlist in the comments so that you can check out that also so exactly preeti that's a point so that's it um there is nothing else i guess i haven't forgotten anything i guess if so again next week even if this course is over this playlist i will update in the future also so that for 2024 exam also uh, you will get the practice of 2023 question paper the exam that is happening this week and next week once the question paper is out i will make the paper analysis session memory based paper analysis session also i will conduct in 2 3 days once i get question paper so if any of your friends get send you questions of today's and tomorrow's exam please forward it to me also i will add it in the paper analysis lecture i will try to take it on monday or tuesday or wednesday when it is i will update through this channel through the telegram channel and through the other mediums so that's it let's conclude and the mobile application christie's classes i hope all of you know mobile application christie's classes also you can download and other resources of mine are given here in play store it is available through that also you can get more content and more free videos so that's it thank you all of you take care all of you all the best all of you for the gate exam and all other exams and uh, may god bless you all for accomplishing your dreams or accomplishing the exams that you are able to or uh, you are planning to write and the career that you want so thank you all take care all of you have a good day